Hello dear children. My name is Shalini and today we are here again with another session of the chapter Data Handling from the book Joyful Maths Class 2. So today we will solve some interesting puzzles. A. See, here is a square box given. Inside it, there are many different shapes like star, triangle, square, rectangle, moon shape and circular shapes. Let us see how to match them. There is a star shape in the first row and a similar shape is there in the fourth row too. So let's match these two. See how easy it is? Now you see that there is a rectangle in the first row and a similar shape is there in the fifth, sixth and seventh row. So just match them. You have learned it, right? Now complete the rest of the puzzle with your friends following the same pattern. Draw lines to connect each pair of similar shapes together. The lines must not cross or touch each other and do not use diagonal lines. Complete the pattern. It is written here 2 plus dash is equal to 4. So what could be the number? 2 plus 2. So the answer is 2. Next, 2 is already there hmm? plus 1 is equal to how much? 3. Alright. And the next one is 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Look at the picture. In how many different ways can an ant return to its home? Look, a triangle is given here, which is divided into many parts. Now you see which path is easier for the ant. Find the names of numbers from 11 to 20. Well, now look at this square shape which has many boxes inside and each box has different letters. You have to create names for numbers 11 to 20 by choosing letters from these boxes. Let us try and see how. The first number is 11. So, the name 11 starts from the last box of the second row of this square shape. Like this, let's find where 12 is written. Mm. See here, the name 12 starts from the fourth box of the fifth row. Just like this, you have to find all the names from 13 to 20. Identify the picture given here. Here is a picture of a bee. Now look at it carefully and then also add these shadow pictures and see which picture matches the shape of this bee. Hmm? Let's see. Um, in the first picture, the bee has all the hands, body and legs. But there is no antenna. So this picture is wrong. Look at the second one. Mm. It has antenna, body, legs. It has all three hands on the left side. But one hand is missing on the right side. So this picture is also wrong. Now you understand? So let's look at the remaining pictures carefully and identify the correct picture. Here is a cat. There are many parts in front of him and on the other side of those parts is the cat's house. Now look at these parts and think about how many different ways the cat can return to its home and which is the easiest one. Look at this picture. It is a rectangle. There are three different parts given. One 
on the left hand side, second in the middle of the rectangle and the third one is on the right side of the rectangle. Now you see which is the easiest one. So look at the picture. There is a big square given which has been divided into other four different squares with the help of math sticks. Now you have to do is you have to remove two math sticks to make it two. Let's see how we can do it. Mm, let's try removing two math sticks from the upper side. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow. There are two squares now. Easy, isn't it? Who am I? Hey, <laughs> I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about this puzzle that you have to solve. Listen to the riddle. I am a bicycle and in a car and a bus, I make all vehicles run. They can't move. If I am flat, what is my shape? Tell me, what is it? Just think. Okay, let me tell you. That is a wheel, a round, round wheel. If there is no wheel, no vehicle or bicycle or bus can move. Let us move ahead now. Riddle solved. Which balls will you select to make a total of 30? Here, there are 11 circles given inside a rectangular box. Three circles are blank and after adding these three circles, we get the total of 30. Now, there are eight more circles given next to these three circles. There is a number in each circle like 1, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15. Now think, which three numbers should be taken from the given numbers which when added will get total of number 30? Let's see. If you add 11, 13 and 7, what will be mm, 31? No, this is not the correct number. Okay, let's try another way. We'll pick 4 from one circle, 11 from second circle and 15 from the last circle. That makes 30. We have found it. Now the numbers have to be written in these empty circles. 4, 11 and 15 is equal to 30. This puzzle is also complete. Very easy, isn't it? Here is a giraffe who is hungry. He needs to eat some leaves. Make a path to take him to the tree. Look at the picture. Let us help the giraffe. Mm. Let's see how we can help him. Uh, oh, here the road is closed. Hey cat. Uh -oh. Yes, let's go from here. Oh wow, the bird is also here. This path seems to be right. Oh, that is rad. Hmm, it seems that he has lost his way. Hmm, this is not right. Let's go back. Uh, found the way. Reached to the tree. Wow, how much fun it was. The giraffe also found the path and we solved the puzzle of this path. See how intelligent you have become? <laughs> Look at the above picture and write the answers. One. Name the animal whom giraffe met first on the path. Dash. Can you remember? I will help you. The first animal was cat. Second. Name the animal whom giraffe met in the last. Dash. You answer now. Look at that path. 
and write your answer here. 3. Have you ever lost your way to home? Answer in the blank space given. 4. What do you do to remember your way to home? Write your answer in the given space. How many rectangles can be made after joining the dots given here? See, there are 9 dots given. Just see how many rectangles can be made. Uh, first rectangle is formed by connecting 6 points from top to bottom. Similarly, second rectangle is formed when we connect other six points from bottom to top. If you join six points on the left side, you get a rectangle. And similarly, when you connect the six dots on the right hand side, you get a rectangle again. So, we get four rectangles. So, dear little friends, you all had a very good time today, right? Now it's time for you to revise this chapter and if you miss something, then watch this video again. We were learning about Chapter 11, Data Handling from the book Joyful Maths, Class 2. We will meet soon again with another interesting session. Till then, do learn and have fun. Bye-bye.